in this lecture I'm going to tell you about uh, risks to digital information and how to, to manage these risks. Uh, first of all, um, uh, digital preservation uh, can be seen as a process of uh, risk management. Uh, what is a risk? A risk is uh, the potential uh, to lose something of value. Or alternatively, uh, a risk can be defined as, uh, as the effect on, of uncertainty on our objectives. Uh, so risk management uh, then is a set of activities uh, to uh, make sure that uncertainty doesn't have a negative effect on our goals. So um, uh, the process of risk management begins from uh, assigning a rating of uh, probability and the rating of extent to each one of the risks. Uh, probability means that um, we evaluate uh, how likely this risk is to happen and um, extent is, uh, is the uh, wideness of the consequences in case uh, the risk actually does materialize. Uh, and then based on those uh, two mm, scores we calculate a total risk score uh, and we do it by multiplying uh, probability to extent. And the reason for, uh, for calculating this score is that um, it allows us to compare uh, the risks in a meaningful way, which uh, neither uh, probability nor extent alone uh, can achieve. So let's take an example. Uh, example of two risks. Uh, the first risk uh, is that um, the aliens from space um, come and uh, conquer the Earth and then uh, carefully destroy all our data. Uh, the extent of this risk is uh, almost 100% uh, because uh, in the case of this risk happening uh, all our data is destroyed. While the probability of this risk is uh, very very low, it's almost zero. Now let's take the other example risk, um, the risk of uh, hard disk breaking down. Uh, the extent of this risk is uh, relatively low, maybe 20%, because we only have a re reasonably small amount of uh, our holdings uh, stored on one single hard disk. While the probability of this risk is uh, almost 100%, because uh, during uh, a single year of operations uh, we are almost sure to encounter at least uh, one broken hard disk. So how to compare those two risks? Uh, uh, we do it by calculating the risk score and do it by multiplying uh, probability to extent. And what we get um, when we round the probability scores, uh, round the total risk scores um, to the nearest integer is uh, we get that um, risk score of uh, alien destruction is basically zero and um, the risk score of uh, hard disk failure is about 20%. So uh, we have zero and we have 20%. So clearly we have to focus all our attention on uh, mitigating this 20% uh, uh, scored risk, which is hard disk failures. And uh, we can pretty much ignore the, the alien invasion. So let's now move uh, from uh, risk management to the actual risks. Uh, risks can uh, broadly be uh, divided into two categories, uh, technical and organizational. The organizational risks um, are many and varied, uh, but the uh, most important uh, three I would uh, consider the following. First, uh, that the users uh, don't trust the uh, archived data. Uh, secondly, the users uh, don't trust the archives. And uh, thirdly, uh, the solutions uh, that we have built to, to maintain the digital information uh, turn out to be unsustainable. For example, uh, we don't have enough funding or, or the funding uh, is, is cut at some point in time. Uh, or uh, we discovered that we, we didn't have enough skills uh, to do all the preservation tasks. So these three uh, are just the most important um, 
organizational risks and uh, unfortunately we don't have time to cover them in depth uh, so I'll move to the technical risks um, and uh, again uh, uh, introduce you to uh, five most important technical risks. Uh, first of all uh, the failure of uh, the storage media, the real physical failure. Secondly, uh, media obsolescence. Uh, thirdly, uh, the obsolescence of file formats. Uh, fourth, uh, the loss of authenticity or integrity. And fifth, uh, loss of context. So what is uh, the first of these uh, physical failure of media? This, uh, I guess, is, is very simple to understand. Uh, it means uh, we just have a physical defect uh, in the media, uh, like um, a USB memory stick uh, gets uh, stepped on or, uh, or poured coffee on it or whatever other reason uh, that makes it uh, to fail, to become unreadable. Uh, second type of uh, risk uh, in digital preservation uh, is uh, media obsolescence. And uh, this is actually uh, much more uh, complicated and uh, something that we usually don't uh, consider in our uh, everyday uh, thinking of, of IT issues. For example, um, uh, this is a three and a half inch uh, floppy disk, which was uh, widely popular in the 1990s. Today, uh, we don't find the drives to read these disks uh, anymore. The new computers uh, are totally unable to, uh, to even uh, be connected to this uh, drive that uh, allows us to read those disks because the motherboards actually uh, have lost the support um, to those drives. Uh, and this uh, is uh, still a uh, very, very close uh, history. It was only 15 years ago when these disks were used. But uh, there were also uh, digital media before uh, three and a half inch floppy disks, which was five uh, and a quarter inch floppy disks. And uh, these were very much used in the 1980s. And uh, the support for the drives uh, for these disks uh, were lost uh, even way before uh, the year 2000. Even in the 90s, uh, newer computers uh, didn't have those drives. But uh, this is not the full history. Before that, uh, before the 5-inch disks, there were 8-inch floppy disks. So uh, again, uh, these are totally unreadable today because of the lack of the physical uh, drive. And uh, most people even don't remember that uh, such disks existed. But uh, the disks themselves, they can be completely uh, in a good physical condition. For example, uh, this specific uh, specimen uh, came uh, straight out of the box. Uh, it's a brand new disk, uh, so any data written to it uh, would surely be readable for many years. But uh, it's uh, obsolescent. It's, it's morally dead. So uh, this... Um, Risk uh, pretty much uh, covers all the issues uh, related to uh, media becoming unreadable uh, because of uh, technology uh, developing and progressing very fast. Uh, third risk, uh, third technical risk is uh, file format obsolescence, which is uh, similar to media obsolescence in the sense that uh, files uh, themselves can be still uh, perfectly readable. The bits have uh, preserved, but um, uh, for the reasons of, uh, of new software versions uh, not supporting uh, the older formats, we are uh, unable to, to read our files. Uh, the fourth uh, technical risk is uh, the loss of authenticity or integrity. Authenticity means um, the knowledge that uh, the information we have uh, has been uh, created uh, by the person uh, that we think uh, created this information. And integrity is, uh, is the knowledge that um, uh, the file has preserved uh, perfectly, uh, unchanged through time. 
So both of these uh, properties can easily be lost if we don't take uh, proper care of, of our files. Uh, just storing them uh, on a hard disk or, or on tapes um, doesn't solve it. And the fifth main risk is, is the loss of context, uh, which is uh, what um, uh, traditional uh, archival theory is, uh, is mostly about. How to describe uh, information uh, in a proper way so that um, all the aspects are, are covered and uh, we can be sure that we, we know that um, uh, this uh, specific document was, was created uh, in the context of, uh, of the operations of a specific organization and uh, which department was responsible for it, uh, uh, which uh, documents uh, precede and, uh, and follow this uh, document. Um, uh, what parts this document consists of, and so on. Uh, so this was a brief introduction to the risk management and uh, specific uh, risks, technical and organizational, to the preservation of digital information. In the next lecture, I will tell you about uh, uh, some ways uh, to manage those risks.